Hello and welcome to this training series on Kofax RPA. This is RoboBear and in this episode we will take a look at conditions and the try-catch functionality. There are multiple ways of building conditions into your robot, but by far the most powerful is the test step. To add the test step to your workflow, simply right-click, insert action step, and in the drop-down on the right, go down to the test folder. As you can see, we have at our disposal several types of test steps. However, they all function on the same logic. A condition is defined, and the step will generate an error if the condition is not satisfied. Let's select the test variable and create a new integer variable to play with. We will name it page counter. Now we will go back to our test step and define a rule involving the newly created variable. For example, let's test if the variable is less than 5. If the condition is satisfied, processing continues as normal. However, if the condition is not satisfied, the step will perform the action dictated under error handling. We have several options here, and we will start by looking at skip the following step. If this option is selected, and the counter goes past 5, this branch will be skipped. Any other branches before the test step will execute normally. For example, let's use an assign step to give our variable the value 4. The workflow runs fully as the condition of the test step is satisfied. If we change the value of our variable to 6, we can now see that the test step generated an error stopping execution on the main branch. However, the secondary branch that splits before the test step executed as expected. This functionality is quite fast and useful, however you may not want to skip the entire branch if a condition is not satisfied. Instead, you may want to perform a specific action. For that purpose, we will look at the try-catch functionality. A try-catch is a way of handling errors generated by the software, and in Kofax RPA it can be also used in combination with test steps to generate more complex conditions. If you remember from the previous example, when a condition from a test step is not satisfied, it will generate an error. We can use a try-catch to capture that error and perform another action. To add the try-catch to your robot, simply right-click the main workflow and select Insert Try Step. The try step automatically generates a new branch. When an error is captured, execution will be directed to the new branch. We can have any number of branches linked to a try-catch. They will be performed in order if errors are encountered. Please note that additional branches will not be executed unless an error is encountered. The next step is to link our test step to our try step. Select the test step and go to error handling. Here we will use the option try the next alternative. By default it will select the nearest try step. Now if we run our robot, the second branch will only run if our test step generated an error, otherwise it will be skipped. Additionally, you can merge the two branches in case you want only a specific action to happen and the rest of the workflow to continue as normal. Before we finish, I want to show you one more trick. If you give your try-catch a name, say counter check, it will now appear in the error handler section and you can target it specifically. This means that you can have any number of try-catches and in any order. The test step will always target the correct one. All steps in Kofax RPA have an error handling section and can be linked to try-catches, so the applicability is endless. This concludes our lesson on conditions and the try cache functionality in Kofax RPA. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe.